Hey guys, this is Killrob speaking and today we are back in Grim Dawn with the Reign of Terror Diablo 2 mod and Findra as Barb, level 54, in hell, underleveled, but kicking ass. And today we are going to uh, uh, yeah, just rush through, I guess, because things are going so well. Things are going super well and first we can reskill a little bit. All right, there we are, and first things first, um, after last episode was uh, was coming to its end, I uh, just went somewhere and bought this thing, Outcast's Might, because I noticed that this sword still didn't have an augment. So let's apply that real quick, and look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Another plus 35% physical damage, plus 25 pierce, Plus 200 health and 8% magic resistance. And last time we stopped uh, with the rescue cane quest. And we still have to do the tower quest as well. So that's the two main things today. And I think we will also be able to get to the inner cloister waypoint. Or inner cloister? Now that would mean that we can do the smith as well. Yeah, maybe we can. Oh, that would be a little rushed maybe. But... Um, uh, all right, we, we shall see. First, though, I do want to take a quick look at the skills. Because last time we decided that Frenzy indeed is the better solution for our build. This one goes really, really well. And that means that I no longer need Bash nor Stun. And that is 20 skill points that are going to be available. And actually, I think I should change up one of these yeah one of these augments this one uh, bone back spine this is not really a good one uh, this one where is it 15% uh, elemental resistance and 3% total speed that seems to be a much better deal let's buy it all right and it goes on here yep there you go much better resistances and we didn't lose much uh, much damage either. Alright, so let's take away all the stun and all the bash. 20 available skill points. Oh, now it costs us 50 bitties. That's not too bad. Now, what do we want to put this into? I mean, I could put it... Mm, we could get up to level 50 in uh, the barbarian skill tree. I don't want to go with berserker rage. That is, that is weird. You don't need that. We already have something uh, that is better, and that is Fade. That's also an exclusive skill, don't forget. Uh, we could try out Whirlwind, but that's pr probably only better against group targets and not against single targets. I do want to have a boss killer. Um, so I think Frenzy, it will remain for the rest of the build. But this is very, very juicy. Natural resistance. Oh, yes. And then, of course, Battle Command, plus one to all skills, also very juicy. So, yeah, and this gives us so much base stats and life. We start at 4-7. Let's put it all in here. And there we are at, well, 5-4. That's quite a bit better. And now we put it in here. Ooh, the scales. What? The scales super well. Oh, my God. God, this is powerful. Uh, where are my skills? Here. There we go. Yes. 14% elemental resist. Awesome. <laughs> they are just disappearing. Oh, my God. Kasim, you are killing them good. Uh, so here what we want to do is kill Rakanishu and get to the stones. Yes, run, 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 run away. I know, I'm running the completely different, completely wrong direction, actually. That's, that's not so good. I think we triggered Rakanishu. He is coming down here. Let's meet him in the middle. Oh, no, now he's down here. What the fuck? How did he get there? Uh, all right. He knows a shortcut. Hello, Rakanisho. How are you doing today? Not so well, I see. Yeah, yeah, you don't look good. Oh, uh, whoa. 
Yep, yeah, big, big drop. But nothing too fancy. I have to check out the uh, set item there. Uh, empowered Marauder's Gloves. Well, they aren't too shabby. But that's fire damage. Ooh, plus three to two of the skills there. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So the runes. And the portal is open. Let's go into the rift. Tristram. How fucked is Bedeckit Kane in hell? That's the question. How bad is Griswold? I doubt he will be too much of a problem. <laughs> Only Kasim and uh, my Shadow Warrior can kill him alone. Or should I say two Shadow Warriors or three Shadow Warriors? Because we have a summon limit of two now. Yeah, quickly, into the portal, Deckard Kane. But where is Grizzy? I haven't seen him yet. Ah, there we go. Hello, Griswold. How are you doing? Do you hit hard? No, you don't hit me at all. Yeah, slowly tickling him to death. There we go, tainted brain matter. And all kinds of plunder. Our resists are so good now again. This is awesome. This build is working super well. Uh, anyway, where is Dickard Kane? At the fire. Okay, here we go. Yes, 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 yes. End conversation. And another inventory bag! And... G give... Give me... Give me all the devotion points. There we have them. Three devotion points. Okay, so where are we at? We just completed... Uh, the crab. Very, very nice one. It already has level 6. <laughs> that was, no, level 5, sorry. Uh, that is leveling real quick. And now we want to get to Oleron. Uh, exactly, but we are missing exactly one point. One point in Ascendant. Well, that's easy to get because we can just choose the crossroad. There we have it. So now we can put two points in here. We have to start here. Yeah, physique and Cunning. That's good. Which one do we want to take? 80% physical damage! That's pretty strong. <clears throat> uh, is this the next one we have to take? Is there no connection there? No, it doesn't seem to be. Alright, I gladly take this one. Um, yeah. 64k DPS. And the hammer. That hammer! Yes, we need to find the hammer. And now we need to check out our massive amount of damage. Okay. Uh, come on, fuck off. Fuck off, 90k. And there we have it. 98k DPS. Yep, oh, that's, that's decent enough. But we said the loot goblin needed at least 120. So <laughs> we would still not be able to kill that. So next up is the Countess. Uh, let's see how, how damn difficult she is in this mode. She always hits hard. So won't be pleasant, I guess. Level 55. So that's actually pretty good. Because we we level, but the enemies don't. Because we're still under level. Ah, oh, these ghosts have so many hit points. Whoa. Some serious amounts of gold coming out of these. Now, uh, we are not having any money troubles at the moment. Oh, so many enemies! Oh, and we're pulling all of them as well. Ah, I just tried to get running through here, but look at this massacre! This is going ridiculously well for how dangerous this is supposed to be, I guess. Just being completely surrounded. And this is where our little spiky Nova thingy is, is really coming in handy too. As sad I, as I am to say that, but uh, these enemies... Sure have uh, quite a bit of hit points. At least the Goatmen. Uh, I would have expected them to die a little quicker with so much DPS. Uh, yeah, the game um, sure throws a few hit points at you. Tower Cellar level 3. Here we come. Let's see how bad this is. 
Uh, plunder the side rooms. Okay. We're almost there. Almost there. Last room. Uh, safety portal, please. And let's head in. And see how bad it becomes. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. No. My shadow warriors. I need you. I need you. I need make, to mo make more. Ouch. Ouch. Something hurt. Something hurt. Okay. Right. Now this is going, going well. Going well so far. I think... Yeah, she's isolated. There you go. Let's spawn a few more shadow warriors. Ow, ow, ow. Something's hurting like crazy. Ouch. Oh, oh. And she's gone. Whew. I, I didn't even look at her health or anything. It's just uh, <laughs> trying to watch my health. And this was jumping around like crazy. We got 50k gold and three devotion points. Thank you very much. And a sword rune. Decent drop. Bone dagger. Three sockets. Uh-huh. I don't think we have found one of those before. And, oh, yeah, we get the super chest this time around. Okay, here we go. And, uh, nah, disappointing. Okay, so that was the countess. Uh, very nice. So now we do have three more devotion points. Three more devotion points. It's amazing. Let's see. So we can go for this one. Pierce resistance, bleed resist. Super powerful. And this one, blind fury. I think that's our new default attack bonus thing we put on here, isn't it? I believe it is. Because five meter radius. Oh, yeah, yeah. Once we have all run completed, this will be it. Because <laughs> this gives so much extra. Let's put one in here. This is the last one, though. So now we can put one in here. And now all the others are active. Ah, uh, we only have one more. Okay, I would like to go for this one first, but I guess we have to level it. Level it. Yes, we have to level it. Uh, frenzy in use, yes. Replace celestial power. Yeah, we do want to do that. So who can take over this one? Mm, do we want to give this to our offensive uh, little desert mercenary? F I think that would be good. Or Shadow War... Oh, our Shadow Warrior could use it too, but our Shadow Warrior doesn't deal as much damage. So hmm. let's let's give this one. Yes, replace Celestial Power, and then we can give the daggers to uh, the Shadow Warrior. Yes, okay, that's decent enough. Level one out of fifteen. It does five hundred forty-two pierce damage, and forty percent of the main hand damage. Okay, that's about a thousand. Five meter in a five meter radius and massive, massive amounts of internal trauma damage and bleed damage. And that will go up quite a bit, I assume, over the levels. And with this one potentially, yes, plus 100% internal trauma damage and an additional 1,600. Oh, and this one is super juicy. Wow, this will up our physical damage so much. Now we found another mythical relic. What does this one do? It's poison focused, poison and acid damage, and has massive resists. Uh, yeah, kind of special, but not for us. All right, we're back in the Black Marsh and shall continue our journey forward into the Tamo Highlands. Just rushing through here. This is going so well. This is a freight train build. Super fast. Can't be stopped either. Well, that's that's more like a fright, fright rain. It's not super fast. <clears throat> Monastery gate. Already here. That <laughs> was a good rush. Outer cloister. And the waypoint. So now for the smith. Or rather, first the barracks. Find the smith. Assassin's Mark has reached level 15. Uh, that's that's pretty high. And that has been used a long time now. Since normal difficulty. Oh, there's a boss. Hey, right, didn't notice you there. Sorry, sir. The barracks. And now we find the malice. Shouldn't be too much of an issue because that's always in the same place, as far as I know. Arr. The carnage is real. But yeah, we are dealing with it just, just fine. 
I just found my first component of a specific kind that I had not found earlier. So <laughs> there's even some new stuff dropping here. It's good to see. I thought that would never appear. Level 56. Okay, I think the smith is over here, if I read the, uh, the land correctly. Yes, here it is. Hello. Oh, uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Did I put up a safety portal? Oh, no. Did I? Did I do it automatically? I didn't think about it. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. <sighs> yes, I did. Okay. I, I didn't even think about it. It's like, yeah, it's so automatic by now. Uh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> Fuck me. That was pretty rough. Uh, let's, uh, let's try out the waters again. Oh, ah! Okay. Come on. Oh, no, not on me. Not on me. Come on. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. How the hell? That's, that's 6,000 damage at high resistances. How does that work? Maybe I just need to run around. Run around and let my minions do the thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, are they, are they killing him? Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, well, that's, that's a strategy. Oh, they're almost dying. Oh, oh, wow. That is a lot of damage, man. It's a lot of damage. What the hell? Where do you get, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where do you, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, healing potion. Um, all right, that, that seems slightly OP. Like compared to everything else in here, that was a bit ridiculous. Boom! Boom! Yes. Whew! I take the hammer. There's the malice. Okay, Chelsea, hand over your, um, your delicious, delicious devotion points. I need them. I need them now. Yeah, thanks so much. Yes, thanks so much for the gold and the devotion points. Free! Yes. Okay, now we have six skill points available. I think I'm going to put one more. Ah, two more in here. Seems good enough. And then we have... Oh, uh, what more? Shadow Warrior, maybe? Seems useful. Yeah, let's put two in here. And then we give... Um, plus five to all damage. Hmm... Is that enough? It's such a weak little thing nowadays. But this isn't much better, is it? 7% to a few type, types of damage. Oh, I wanted to see how this one scales. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just 5% scale. It's pretty weak. I mean, what I could do is uh, get to battle command. Plus one to all skills. That should help. Um. Yeah. Maybe that's something I want to do a little later. Although getting used to it now might not be bad. Ah, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a lazy fucking bastard when it comes to skill usage. Oh, well, okay, I'm, go I'm going to use it. The scaling here is, of course, irrelevant. To undo the points. Put only one in. Uh, five seconds extra. Yeah, it's It lasts for 30 already. So that's good enough. And then we could put another into Shadow Warrior. And three devotion points, and you know what that means. It means that we can can finish this one up. Uh, this would be awesome. Okay, so uh, 1,600 and maximum pierce resist. Yeah, 2%. Who cares? But plus 100% internal trauma damage. That should level this one up quite a bit. Yeah, okay. And, of course, physical damage. Plus 100% and a flat base damage of 122 to 163. How much damage are we dealing now? Without anything, 74k. Well, we have to tr try it out on the target dummy. Alright, here we go. 111! Yeah, that's pretty high. Ooh. Of course, what I should do is try that out with everything activated 
Here we go. Uh, that's not... Ah, that's now... Okay, 114. All right, another 3k. <laughs> so many things active right now. <laughs> it's hard to see. Uh, becomes a, a management game. Alright, J level 1. There should be a waypoint there. I think we, we'll grab that one. And usually there are quite a few bosses around here. Oh yeah, there's one. Alright, so far so good. Oh, ow, 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 that hurt. Whoop. Ow, oh, shit. Yeah, there's some shit going down here. But uh, I think we're good. Let's see, focus him down. Oh, shit. No, I'm dead. Ah. What kind of skill was that? That was a massive bleed or burn or something. Alright, safety portal this time around then. Should have opened that from the start. My hubris is getting the better of me. Uh, yes. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Okay. He's dead. Uh. Well. Didn't last much longer then. And dropped. Oh. Out. What's going on here? Is there another boss? Oh, there was another boss. And they dropped loads of unique items. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, quite bad at overview here right now, as you uh, no doubt have just seen. It's too many skills to handle for me, and I cannot look at the screen what's going on there. I miss all the bosses. Yay, J level 2. We found it. Uh, I think I'm just going to grab the uh, inner cloister, actually. And then next time around we can try our hands at and Dariel already. <laughs> so much carnage. So hard to see what's going on here. What's going on? Almost found... Oh, do we get that? Yes, up here. There we go. And now I just need to... Mm. Place down a safety portal, Killer Rob. That's what you're screaming. Yes, indeed. Because the boss is here. The boss is here, even though we're pretty well protected because of our Cloak of Shadows. There we go. What a shit drop. I need to grab the waypoint, and then we're out of here. Waypoint is grabbed, and back to the rogue encampment. Oh wow, one of those transcendent relics that has an aura you can activate. That's pretty powerful. Death chill. Okay, I think we have done well. We have done really well this episode. Uh, apart from the few deaths uh, and one-shot kills we <laughs> received from the smith. <laughs> oh, that was a little harsh. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.